And now it is time to invite on stage uh, a man who is uh, respected by one and all. Uh, and uh, he is uh, going to share some really, really special moments, uh, some vision and uh, his experience so far. I would uh, humbly request uh, Mr. Pratik Hira to please join us uh, to share his Silver Jubilee speech uh, on the stage with a big round of applause, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Pratik Hira, who happens to be an inspirational source for many, he is not only the founder, president and CEO of Tornos, an experiential tour company founded in 1994. He is also the general secretary of Tornos Foundation. He has also marked his pivotal presence and writing. No doubt, uh, he is uh, a man who is simplicity and wisdom personified. And uh, recently, ladies and gentlemen, uh, he has been teaching tourism in the University of Wales uh, in the United Kingdom. Please give it up uh, for Mr. Prithi Kira. How fortunate I am to have all of you amidst us to celebrate our 25 years of Tornos. The journey that started in 1994 has been through its shares of ups and downs, joys and sorrows, victories and triumphs, but what I feel is important that we sustained without compromising on values and without losing any enthusiasm and the zeal of working that we had on day one of starting this company. In 1994, when we started out, it was only passion that drove us to deliver in spite of all adversaries. Someone so rightly asked me, what was the business plan then? Frankly, there was none. We did not ever know where we were heading to and what will come of us after spending a quarter of a century. We really believe it is passion and only passion that has driven us all through and drives us still. How else would one explain our survival without any business in our initial years and yet continuing the journey happily with gleaming eyes? Only with pinned hopes at a distant future, passion has allowed us to achieve success beyond our wildest imagination and Tornos is actually a story of passion that started 25 years ago. Tornos was established as an experiential tour company when the term experiential was almost alien to the Indian tourism industry. After 25 years, we at Tornos are consciously small and have not expanded beyond our subject specializations and geographic expertise. We rather take pride in calling ourselves as a micro destination management company. We convincingly believe experiences are best offered by small specialist and passionate operators who understand and value experiences due to their hold on local knowledge and connect. Gastronomy, history, culture happen to be our areas of expertise and most of our products hover around these themes. Extensive research, knowledge, and careful planning are the key differentiators of Tornos, and this is the reason our products and services are held in high regard. I thought I will speak my heart today, and so without any offenses to anyone, I must mention a few concerns that plague me and I am sure are plaguing many others too, but often are not uttered. Working in a city where I was born had always had its shares of downsides. People often do not take us seriously as they know us from our diaper days. Not only that, our vendors, hotels, even our own government treats us below the metro lot and much more uh, and uh, with a lesser respect than them. Unfortunate, but they did for quite some time with us too, thereby making local operations much more difficult than operations outside our own turf. I really wish this attitude changes for all local businesses to prosper and grow earlier than they do. 
our business model has a B2B channel as well, and Indian operators based out of metro cities who include our tours in their itineraries often look upon us as lesser models. Many a times, thinking of us to be uneducated, uncultured, south operators only because we belong to a small city like Lucknow. I think when we started out, the respect for small operators was much more than it is today. Very unfortunate though, but many operators, especially the current inheriting generation, fails to realize that we are now living in an era of synergies, collaborations, and inclusiveness. And that if we value regional knowledge and expertise, it's only their business that will benefit. It puts me off when an operator sitting in South who has never been to a city like Lucknow dictates an itinerary to my, of uh, my region where we are born and brought up and possibly have decided to die too. A journey of 25 years is no less than a memoir and each individual, friend or even foe is so very important to me. I may not have stopped and thanked each one, but surely recognize their contribution in whatever I am today. At this juncture, and probably for the first time ever, I wish to thank my mother, who has had a great role in nurturing me as a free-thinking man, free of all brackets. <laughs> and without any boundaries, and willfully giving in to my wish of joining tourism. As she knew, she brought me up that way herself to have my own opinions, as she only taught me to do what I enjoyed the most. I am blessed to have my teachers of tourism today with me here, Professor Tejveer Singh, who not only taught me tourism and allowed me access to his personal library, but he is the one who actually convinced my mother to leave me free and not to interfere. And Professor Manoj Dikshit, now the Vice Chancellor of the University of Faisabad, who apart from being my teacher, nurtured and helped me not only in professional situations, but also in my personal problems. Uh, I think he is like you give me problem and I give you solution kind of a man. When a teacher becomes your friend, one can understand his intense connect with his students. Professor Manoj Dikshit is just that. A few names who are not in this world today, but have had an important role in my life, especially in my formative years, and I think if they were not there, my learning would be only limited. Humble souls they were, who encouraged me in the days of despair. Late Mr. Indar Sharma, Mr. Ram Kohli, Mr. Badri Bajaj, Mr. Gulam Nakshband, Mr. Hem Chand Pandey, whom I remember in situations that I still get into in my professional and personal life. I believe that learning from these old school boys is relevant today too. Unlucky are those who did not get to know them or got an opportunity to be guided by them. I was so, I was so fortunate to have had a like-minded team all through this journey that strangely believed in my belief. Had an able team wouldn't be in place, we at Tornos would not have come this far. I can't thank my team enough and even my colleagues who may not be with us today, but have ever worked with us in the past. I particularly thank the present team that is with us today who still believe and have confidence in the story called Tornos. I may not have thanked them individually, but have always valued their contribution and I'm indebted to them for all that they have done in making my dream theirs. I thank all of you today to be by my side and standing by me and do hope to keep getting this unconditional love and affection in future too. Now, if we turn back and see what have we left behind, we find that we left behind nothing. 
rather carried along with us our enthusiasm that we had on day one of our opening, our commitment that we had to excel and make all around us feel proud of us. We carried along our gene of being innovative, our spirit of teamwork, our faith in our clients, to whom we owe so much, our humble personality and an attitude of never say die. While our journey continues with the same baggage, we are more cautious as we are graying and becoming a big boy, but have resolved never to have any traits of a big boy ever. In the past 25 years, we spent all our time learning, learning and learning. We learned to deliver just the best. We learned to surpass expectations. We learned that businesses, business is all about passion and commitment. We learned how to inculcate the same passion and commitment in our people and in our suppliers. We learned that there could be no highest benchmark in the service delivery. We learned that tourism is all about emotions. We learned never to say no. We learned much, much more in all these 25 years. And above all, we learned to keep learning no matter how much we have learned. Our journey has just begun. We intend to keep learning with all of you as our teachers. Thank you very much.